హలో వెల్కమ్ టు చైతన్య అగ్రానమిస్ ఛానల్ టుడే విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ మానోకాట్స్ అండ్ డైకాట్స్ అంతే ఏకదళ సస్యగలు మత్తు ద్విదళ సస్యగల బగ్గే తెలియోన హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ మానోకాటిలిడన్స్ అండ్ డైకాటిలిడన్స్ దిస్ ఈజ్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ కాటిలిడన్ ఫీచర్ సో ద థింగ్ cotyledon is important whereas we call monocots in kannada as ekadala madicots we call as dwi dala okay so the main thing in both monocotyledons and dicotyledons andre ekadala dalli dwi dala dalli mukhyavagi iruva amsha vendare leaves that is cotyledons okay if we come to classes of the plants there are two classes one is gymnosperms another one is angiosperms gymnosperms are non flowering plants whereas angiosperms are flowering plants these both will give seeds for next generation okay when you see the main difference between cotyledons we are having certain things like in angiosperms monocots and dicots in gymnosperms we never find these monocots and dicots only in angiosperms we find monocots and dicots then coming to cotyledons what is cotyledon from a zygote that is from a seed from seed we are getting new plant from seed when we sow the seed we are getting new plant this new emerged plant will give cotyledons that is seed leaves based on this we classify this material the planting material the plants into monocots and dicots the plants are having one cotyledon we call as monocots the plants which are having two cotyledons we call as dicots monocots best example got corn dicots best example is beans okay then if we come to the cotyledon feature the monocots are having single you can see here easily dicots are having two cotyledons you can see the difference between monocot and dicot easily here in this picture next important difference between monocot and dicot is leaf venation pattern leaf venation pattern monocots are having parallel leaf venation parallel leaf venation like this whereas dicots are having net pattern dicots are having net pattern like this okay so this is the major difference between leaf venation pattern okay then coming to next that is root system if you come to root system monocots are having fibrous root dicots are having tap root monocots are having fibrous root system dicots are having tap root system you can see the difference of both easily in this picture then next one the flower pattern here monocots are having group of three flowers group of three flowers whereas dicots are having four to five group of flowers four to five group of flowers you can see here monocots and dicots easily in this picture then next one the vascular bundle position monocots are having scattered vascular bundle system in the stem whereas dicots are having arranged that is circularly arranged vascular bundles in the stem then if we come to stem type monocots are always herbaceous dicots are always woody or herbaceous you can see monocots are herbaceous dicots are woody or herbaceous okay then if you summarize if you see the both normal differences 
द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मानव गॉड्स द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मानव गॉड्स इफ यू सी मानव गॉड्स आर हैविंग फ्लावर पार्ट्स दैट इज इन थ्री नंबर्स एंड द सीड विद सिंगल कॉटिलिडन एंड वैस्कुलर बंडल्स आर स्कैटर्ड देन पैरेलल लीफ वेनेशन वेयर एज डाइकॉट्स व्हिच आर हैविंग फोर और फाइव फ्लावर पार्ट्स देन कॉटिलिडन्स विल बी टू देन व्हिच इज वैस्कुलर बंडल्स विल बी रिंग और सर्कुलर पैटर्न द वेनेशन विल बी नेटेड लीफ वेनेशन विल बी नेटेड दीज आर द major difference are characteristics between monocots and dicots then if you see and compare the differences between monocots and dicots monocots are having one cotyledon dicots are having two cotyledons monocots are having parallel leaf system dicots are having broad leaf system monocots having fibrous root system dicots are having tap root system monocots are having flower parts that is in three numbers dicots 4 to 6 number then vascular bundles in case of monocots are scattered dicots are arranged in circular pattern then the stems feature in monocots are herbaceous dicots it may be woody or herbaceous so likewise we can see the large comparison or a huge difference between monocots and dicot uh plants thank you for listening this video please subscribe and put a comment if you have any doubts related to agriculture thank you